In 1692, the devil came to Salem. It began with young girls, screaming, contorting, speaking of invisible attacks and spectral visions. The official diagnosis? Bewitchment. The result? Mass hysteria and the hanging of 19 innocent people. But what if the true culprit wasn't supernatural? What if it was hiding in their food? Historians and scientists now point to a sinister fungus called Claviceps purpurea, or ergot, which thrived on the town's rye grain during a damp season. This fungus contains powerful psychoactive chemicals, the very natural foundation for LSD. When ingested, the effects of ergotism are horrifyingly familiar. It causes violent muscle spasms, the fits the girls described. It creates a crawling sensation under the skin, the feeling of being pinched by unseen forces, and it triggers vivid, terrifying hallucinations, the spectral visions of their tormentors. They weren't possessed. They were unknowingly drugging themselves. In a world ruled by superstition, these symptoms were undeniable proof of witchcraft. The people of Salem were fighting a monster they couldn't possibly understand. They searched for a human face to blame for their suffering, never realizing the true source of the evil wasn't a witch in the woods, but a fungus growing in the very bread they ate every day. Like for more real history, 